Welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I'm Wolfgang. And in this coming guided meditation we will be clearing you know all kinds of spells, curses and you know other nasty overlays that I come across in my work with clients. Mm -hmm. um, so you know uh, well, first of all, how do you know you're cursed? Well, if there's a pattern of certain types of bad luck, whether it's in love or business or anything else, people are stuck or whatever, is generally it's called bad luck. And um, this could be due to a spell or curse. Mm -hmm. And the more specific we find out about them, you know, the easier it is to be cleared. Um, of course, I'm not the one doing the clearing. You know, this is up to higher powers, divine higher powers that work for the highest good. They love to help. They like to clear this stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, much of this, you know, spells and curses is illegal and undeserving, so they gladly help. But we have to be quite specific mm -hmm. and, you know, ask from a humble point of view, you know, also with an attitude of forgiveness yeah so i'm not the one doing the clearing we just ask for it and um, but in general the result would be that you feel a lot lighter you know even if you do not have any psychic impressions from this mm. we will be um, asking if you are you know affected by a certain spell or curse Hopefully you will get a yes or no answer in your, from your subconscious or your higher self. And then <clears throat> um, we will then ask for the clearing. You know, if, whether you have done these kind of things to others, it's a good idea to clear that as well as what has been done to you. And then we move on. Of course, this is kind of like a real gun shooter meditation um, where we spend maybe a minute or two on each of those questions in a guided personal you know session with me on skype or zoom or we can go a lot deeper and you know go to the root cause of these things mm -hmm. amazing results can be achieved uh, yeah i just the client just wrote me she lost 40 pounds without trying <laughs> never was um, you know that uh, in their life so you know the results can be quite um, astonishing uh, but um, you know you ultimately you feel lighter uh, many times you will have sensations like a tingling in your body um, you know this is due to higher chi levels in that area always a good symptoms um, there might be a crying coming up and big pain coming up. Yeah, of course, you know, these are suppressed emotions that have to be experienced and released. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <clears throat> of course, you know, this is all, you know, a safe environment, you know, where to experience this. Um, <clears throat> now, um, you know, this is, of course, designed, you know, to space you out and, you know, so it's really not advisable to drive or to operate heavy machinery. And uh, you might be wanting to lay down, you know, uh, most likely you will be going to sleep then, you know, and go into deep relaxation. You know, it, it is good that way. Um, and uh, the other way is sitting up. You know, I like office chair style. This uh, meditation is going to be about you know, an hour, so, you know, to sit in a lotus position or even a sukha asana, it's kind of rough on most people's knees mm -hmm. and also on most people's back, you know, so you, and I think a good office chair is nice, you know, with back support and having your feet on the ground and this way, you know, you can run a really lot of energy between what I call heaven and what I call earth. You know, grounding, laying down is not that effective from my yogic point of view. All right, so um, close your eyes now. And let's just do an invocation. So make sure you agree in your mind with this. So we ask that everything that comes from this guided meditation and that also happens in and from this guided meditation 
is going to be for our highest good. And it's also, you know, in divine harmony with everything and with the most benevolent outcome. And amen. So just agree in your mind. And so we also ask that this meditation for you, whatever you absorb, is you know has a maximum impact. You know, putting you on your highest timelines. Yeah. And now we ask the spirit guides and our high self to put this uh, bubble of light around you, and then also around your place. You know where you are. You know this could be your room, your cell, your car, your tent. Mm -hmm. Whatever is your personal space, amen, and smile. And we ask the spirit guides to clear now any resistances in your grounding. Which means, um, you know, having clarity in your root chakra, in your foot chakras, in your legs, in the meridians and nadis. All the different chi and energy pathways, we like to have them cleansed from parasites, spells, curses, trauma, entity attachment cords, dark technologies, implants, chips, you know, dark clouds of chi and whatever else <laughs> is there and impeding. High self will be happy to point this out. Please do so now. Amen. And you start imagining that you breathing, you know, start breathing through your legs and through your root chakra. Mm -hmm. It's an act of imagination and you imagine breathing in the love of the Earth Mother. I perceive it as a chi flow. And on the exhale you send your love black. It's like a blood exchange. You, you know, it's a combination of blood exchange and nursing. You know, where you exchange your rather <laughs> rotten chi <laughs> with Mother Earth. And um, of course, when you make it a smiling affair, it turns into a loving affair, which is much more positive. And actually, Mother Earth will really appreciate this, guaranteed. It's a deep breathing. Mm -hmm. Breathe all the way in. And to breathe all the way out while you're smiling and at a speed that you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils. Um, on a more practical note, you know, imagine that you're on an elevator and people start stepping in and you start breathing, you know, so hard that they feel uncomfortable. Yeah, that's about how you should be breathing right now. Back and forth. Hmm. And we asked um, our high self and our spirit guides to hook us up into the positive ley lines and crystal grids that are just right for us. Maybe hook us up into the subterranean cultures if you're part of them and if it's good for us. And please do so now. Amen. And these effects take about five seconds before they kick in and which should be uh -huh. Most people feel like a shift in their higher energy, like um, heart, back, you know, head. Mm -hmm. More peaceful, more centered, more full. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if there are any subterranean spirit guides that we are having that are approved by our high self, we give them permission to liberate us from any faults, programs, downer programs, you know, any other sabotage that disconnects us from, you know, Mother Earth, from Gaia, and from our subterranean aspects, you know, the subterranean memory complex. Mm -hmm. And uh, many of you will experience quite a rush now, quite a shift in energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is all supposed to be coming back. 
And we asked our subterranean friends to send us a lot of love you know, and happiness. You know, just to show you, you know, they are real. Mm -hmm. um, smile. It's incoming. Mm -hmm. Your mind appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And you can send your love with your breath back. Mm -hmm. And we also ask you to put some nice rainbows around your heart. <laughs> mm. And for many, it's just a feeling. You know, for me, it's just a feeling. <laughs> Beautiful feeling. And we also have asked to bring in the gold frequency you know, um, of golden source love. In for healing for our physical bodies and our wrestled emotions, pretty please. Um, you know, always make sure you agree in your mind. Okay, incoming, very good. And now we ask them and our spirit guides to, you know, create an inner sanctuary bubble around you. You know, with a membrane that only lets in the higher vibration and filters out the lower vibration that are coming to interfere. And then we ask that this bubble also be surrounded by rainbow fire, wood, water, you know, the elements. We invite those to surround us in the most positive aspect. Um, and really smile, 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 you know, don't scare them now or offend them. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. And you can all inhale their love and send your love back. That's how we do it on the spiritual plane. That's how we make friends. Now into your inner sanctuary, let's invite, you know, following, you know, divine plant devas like the rose, the lotus, and Tulsi, also called holy basil. Um, please come in and sanctify our place. Keep us in a nice, loving vibration, pretty please. Mm -hmm. And many of them will feel this. Mm -hmm. Intent is quite powerful, you know, especially when you're in a loving, higher vibrational state. And now put your tongue to the top of your palate, mm -hmm. the top of that cupola, yes. It will kind of balance your brain halves automatically and give you a 10-20% high, you know, because you start running more chi automatically into your brain center. Mm -hmm. And we asked our high self and our spirit guides, the angels of love and light, to clear our crown chakra. And also we asked Milky Way Galaxy, this huge consciousness, and all the celestial chakras, mm -hmm. to the highest dimension, if it's appropriate for us. Mm -hmm. Clear any sabotage there, any frequency limiters, any alarm system installed by the dark side. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, sabotage like reverse crown, crowns of thorns, crucifixion implants, mm -hmm. spikes, skull caps, plates, mm -hmm. and all kinds of voodoo magic, you know, dark clouds, entity attachment, iconic attachment, you know, especially the ones to the gallbladder meridian. <laughs> yeah, clear those out pretty please. And if necessary, take them to the courts of divine justice. Or place them into the truth mirror box where they can look at themselves for a while. Mm -hmm. And we also asked that those templates, you know, that um, make us disconnect from high self. Mm -hmm. We like to have those cleared now, you know, and prevent them from being re-implanted. Meaning, please make that permanent. Mm. 
And then also, you know, take those entities, you know, our programs that reinstate these type of templates to the highest courts of divine justice for interfering in human affairs throughout the dimensions. Amen, amen, amen. You asked Archangel Michael to take care of this. Amen. Yep, he's the cup of the universe. <laughs> You ask him, you give him permission, and if it's you know, for the highest good, he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. And also, please clear any jinn attachment and programs, you know, that are meant to block our sealers, prophets, you know, from channeling, you know, divine messages, divine energies, you know, that prevent us from fulfilling our dharma. Um, uh, they make that also a permanent change so they cannot reattach. Thank you. You know, so what's happening? Um, a lot of higher beings, you know, from the dark side, you know, as soon as you know, or you're a star hopper or a light bringer or indigo child, you know, somebody, a Pleiadian or somebody that comes here to help, you know, they plug you with all kinds of stuff. They have you raped as a kid. You know, or other nasty stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, traumatized, basically. Yeah. You know, and so you're not that happy self anymore that came in. You know, you become stunted and more crippled. Anyhow, so uh, also please now activate our Stargate codes and connect us to the proper Stargates. Um, 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 mm -hmm. So you will get the support systems. You know? from our dimensional friends and family. Amen. All right. So now we ask all our friends of love and light that can transmute, you know, these um, dark magic that's coming. This would be the angelic forces like Archangel Michael, and maybe Archangel Raphael, and then, but also, you know, all kinds of dragons that are coming from love and light and that you have relationships with or ascended masters. Mm -hmm. um, whatever, you know, is qualified and approved by your high self, you know, we ask those, you know, to assist you. And many of you also have past life connection with all kind of, you know, they call them gods and they can be helpful. But um, and then some of you are transcendentalists that only talk to Source, and I support this too. Mm -hmm. So we also ask Source, you know, to be <laughs> the one, the ultimate mover, you know, that clears those things. Mm -hmm. um, so um, there are some class of curses that could be seen as a sticker. Mm -hmm. It's um, so you know somebody sticks a sign in your back saying, kick me. We did that at school quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So these are what I call, you know, sticker curses. <laughs> and unfortunately, you know, we have to be quite specific, you know, to sometimes to have certain curses cleared. So that's why. Now ask your divine guidance. Mm -hmm. um, is there a certain vacuum cleaner sticker for you that makes you a vacuum cleaner you know for dark energy that absorbs and attracts dark energy yes or no and if you have an upflow of energy that means a yes and if you have a downflow like a no like a eh, then that means a no and there are other ways of distinguishing yes and no. Well, you might even use a pendulum. So let's see. Um, let's set ask again. Um, do you have a vacuum cleaner for dark energy sticker on you? Yes or no? Now, did you put those kind of stickers on others in this or past lifetimes? Yes or no? Now we ask the divine beings to please, you know, clear what we did and what other did to us. You know, also include our ancestors, 
mm, into this deal <laughs> while we quest if possible. Um, um, hmm. Now another sticker that I come across mm, quite frequently is in attracting an incompatible mate. You know, somebody that's not fitting. <laughs> you know, always the wrong one. And then, of course, you have drama. You know, drama, drama, drama. Right. So, um, do you have a sticker on you like this? Yes or no? Did you or your ancestors put these kind of stickers on others? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Now we ask divinity to please clear those now as much as possible without us having to look at the details. You know, we need mercy here. Um, now another royal way of screwing somebody over, and I just found this out rather recently, is kind of a vibration mismatch program. You know, where well, let's say uh, my authentic vibration is A, but then this program distorts this, so I come across like vibration B. <laughs> you know? So people, you know, see me for not what I am, you know, and they judge me for something that I'm not. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you attract people. <laughs> that are not really matching to you. So it, you know, screws up, you know, you know a royal amount of your life. Uh, so um, are you affected by a vibration mismatch program? Yes or no? And did you affect others with the vibration mismatch program? Yes or no. Now we ask Source and the other helpers you know, to clear those programs, those karmas on all the timelines, all the parallel manifestation, you know, as much as possible now. Um, uh, um. So, you know, there's a whole <laughs> other class, you know, of nasty spells and curses. Um, you know, you can see them as computer programs too, or as uh, gin attachments, you know, when they get start getting personality over time. So I call those um, poison roots. You know, if, let's say, you know, somebody, you know, the astral implants, you know, some poison root or you know, poison seed or poison egg or poison spore that then grows and becomes bigger and bigger, you know, in your systems. You know, let's say it's traveling around your meridians and nadis, mm -hmm. growing like a tree. And then, you know, you come with a good healer and you yourself, you know, you kind of cut that off. And then after a couple of weeks or months, you know, this whole thing is back. You know, the roots have regrown. You know, the seeds maybe had backup seeds. There were backups to the eggs. There are spores. You know, this stuff regrows. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we have to kind of, you know, go to the very, very, very root, you know, to the issue or the backup programs to really get rid of those things. So, question is, to highest self, and we want the truth, mm -hmm. are we affected by these kind of poison roots, seeds, expores, backup programs that make, you know, dark things regrowing us? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Did we and our ancestors do this to others too? 
Yes or no. And again, we asked Absolute Source and the other helpers <laughs> to please clear this now as much as possible. Um, um, And uh, you might really feel some shift of energy. Mm -hmm. So those that know how to keep projecting love and stay centered in your heart, smile like an idiot and you know things will go faster and better for you. Now another class <laughs> of curses or stickers like call them yo-yo programs. Mm -hmm. So um, it's kind of a very torturous kind of a thingy. Um, let's say, you know, um, you are about to have success you know, in your endeavor, in your plans. Mm -hmm. And just before you can touch it, it turns into a failure. Yeah. The success is always there if within reach, and then just before, you know, it just all turns to crap. Mm -hmm. Supreme disappointment, you know, it's very, very disheartening, whether it's like your ideal girlfriend and <laughs> just before you hitch up, you know, something happens, something crazy happens. Or you get that ideal job or, you know, the ideal opportunity for your career. You know, and then at the last moment, you know, everything goes to pieces. Mm -hmm. So, um, are you affected uh, by programs like this? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you like, um, did we affect others with programs like this? Yes or no? Now we like to have those cleared pretty please. Mm -hmm. And if perpetrators, you know, um, that installed these programs are still around, you know, even from other programs that we mentioned beforehand, and still doing harm, we like to have them brought to the courts of Divine Justice Archangel Michael and taken care of. Amen. 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 Okay, and there's definitely a shift of energy from this one. Now another really nasty one I came across. You know, there were lovers, right? And um, the image that was shown, each of the lovers had a color, like a slave color around their neck. And then there was a stick you know, in between them, so they could not touch each other. Mm -hmm. They were always bound together, you know, loving each other, but they could not touch each other. You know, so a supreme <laughs> torture. It's like if you're thirsty, you know, dying of thirst, and, you know, the bottle of water is just right in front of you, but you can't touch it. <laughs> you know, or you're starving, and somebody you know, is eating a gorgeous meal, you know, right in front of you. Mm -hmm. So, of course, this can be, again, you know, applied to many situations. And let's ask, um, are you affected um, with, you know, and, you know, always right there, but never can reach a um, program? Yes or no? And did we affect others with a program like that? Yes or no? And now we like to have that cleared. And if the entities that are reinforcing those programs, please take them to the courts of divine justice now. Um, um, um. Now, another really nasty one. You know, it's the one of kind of like 
you're always waiting and hoping, never getting, you know, what you desire. You know, that you're actually living in riches, but then you want that one thing that you can't get. <laughs> With a set special edition, you know, Maserati or the special edition Rolex or that trophy wife, mm -hmm. you know, or the certain recognition, you know, whatever it is, you know, whatever you want, ah, that's just the thing you can't get. Mm -hmm. Are you affected with um, overlays, spells, curses, and programs like this? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Did you affect others? You know, with programs like this? Yes or no? Now we ask to have this cleared by the mercy of Absolute Source. Amen. Um, um. So, you know, another really big field, you know, of black magic, you know, that affects my client and that has to be counteracted, you know, is energy stealing. <laughs> You know, um, if you are when you are on the dark side, um, you don't get that love from source anymore, mm -hmm. and um, so you need to steal energy from others just to survive. You know, similar to a ghost, so you have to vampire, you know, other people's energy. Mm -hmm. The purer, the better. Just like in a vampire movie, you know, without the blood, it's generally done. Mm -hmm through kind of cords or tentacles, you know, that in imagination are plugged into the other person's energy field. You know, nasty stuff. I wouldn't do it. You know, don't do it. You know, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, nothing good comes from that. Mm -hmm. So, and um, first of all, are people stealing energy mm -hmm. from you like this at the moment? Yes or no? And most likely there is a situation like this. And let's ask, you know, who is the greatest energy thief? Please show me now. Amen. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, let's be asked bit guides to disconnect this if it's possible right now. Um, Now, let's also be honest, um, let's ask your higher self, are you also stealing somebody's energy, yes or no? Mm -hmm. And, you know, who is your greatest victim, you know, that you're stealing it from? Please show us now. Amen. And there's stickers on you, you know, instead of kick me the stay, steal my energy, a yes or no. Basically, you know, one of these stickers uh, will attract a lot of vampire beings, you know, ghosts and other beings that you know, steal other, other people's energy. Yeah. All right, now we ask to have this cleared. You know, where we put it on others, or we stole other people's energy, where other people steal our energy, clear the stickers. Mm -hmm. We forgive, we ask for forgiveness, pretty please. Amen, amen, amen. And you just project as much love as you can right now, to even qualify, you know, for having this cleared. Ooh, yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. And whatever energy got stolen from you will be purified and returned to you. Um, uh, um, mm -hmm. And whatever energy from others is still with you, let's have this also returned to original owners. Um, 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 without your stuff attached to it. <laughs> it's better good to keep it straight.
So another big boo-boo is like, you know, a sticker, like attract envy. And of course, if you're beautiful or successful, you know, any outstanding in any way, guaranteed, you know, you attract the envy of others, especially if you're bragging about it. <laughs> You know, not much good comes from this besides the envy of others, I guess. Yeah. Or jealousy. You know, it's a survival instinct. You know, unless they're smiling, you know, it's uh, not a good thing uh, to let them know how good you have it. Hmm? So, but there are also stickers, you know, that can be put on people, you know, to harm their life without getting personally involved. So, first of all, do you have, you know, attract envy stickers on you yes or no mm -hmm. and well as we are with it you know ask uh, how do these how does the envy of people affect you please show us now um, now um do we have envy attachments to others where we like, um, you know, are envious of other people? Yes or no? Now, who is the greatest recipient of your envy? Please show us now. Amen. So now we ask that all the envy be cleared, you know, on, you know, where we polluted others and where we got polluted and also clear those sticker programs that, you know, or behaviors that attract the envy of others. Amen. 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 Now, another sticker or curse is to attract accidents. You, know, you probably heard the term accident prone. Sometimes this even, you know, um, accidents are attracted by entities to you that want to harm you. So let's ask, are there entities that attract accidents to you? Yes or no? And let's have those brought to the courts of divine justice right now. They can sort that out, whether it's legal or not. Amen. 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 And now, are there stickers on you, or spells or curses or vows to attract accidents? Yes or no? Did you put any of those nasties on others? Yes or no? And we like to have this cleared now. Um, So this um, clearing should be enough for today. Um, we don't want to do too much. I have a huge list of more um, overlay spells, curses and stickers that need to be cleared. Um, you know, you can do them in the other videos that are coming. Mm -hmm. And then now we ask the spirit guides to clear and spin out, you know, everything in our life, you know, that's uh, not, you know, for our highest good. 
like a centrifuge, you know, clear out the dark energy. Um, um, um. And we have uh, a lot of, you know, uh, rhomboid, you know, structures in our life, in our bodies, mm -hmm. our chakras, for instance. And, you know, they're all spinning in certain ways, and some are um, you know, in the right direction, and some are in the wrong. <laughs> the dracos are like the mess with our chakras. So we asked our higher self and spirit guides to spin everything in the life and light affirming directions. Um, and while this is all going on, also clear any connections and intrusions from false light realities and shadow realms into us. You know, and that karma dumping that comes with this, mm -hmm. you, you send that karma right back to where it came from. Um, 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 and uh, where people, you know, wear our energy and do harm with us. Yeah, we like to um, have those taken to the courts of divine justice right now. Uh -huh. And the karma that we are getting, you know, because they kind of used our energy, it's like taking your gun and killing somebody and you get the rap for it. So we like to have, you know, our high self point this out to the courts of divine justice. And all this karma, you know, transferred back to original owners, our energies return to us now. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. You know, and clear this all the way to the highest soul aspects and also clear our ancestral bodies. Amen. 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 And anybody having any problem with this, you know, take him to the courts of divine justice, where we can discuss this in great detail. Amen. And then also, you know, clear all those entity attachment that have attached to our trauma, wounds, curses, and implants, like, you know, flies attached <laughs> blood. Clear them all now and send them where they cannot do any harm to us anymore. And if they have been placed, you know, these kind of suckers, mm -hmm. by dark forces to sabotage and disempower us, you know, then take those dark forces also to the cross of divine justice, all the way up to the chain of command. Mm -hmm. We asked Absolute Source to empower that. Um, and when we talk about all the way up the chain, you know, please also we ask Absolute Source to clear any binding devices, vows, contracts, tech, and AI influences and interferences that can be cleared now without us having to personally witness it. You know, also all the way, all the crap that's running in our subconscious. You know, not allowed. Please clear it. Amen. And then, of course, then clear also the karmic residue that's still left over stuck. You know, it's like dust. Mm -hmm. And so when that is clear up, you know, collapse and release those negative timelines for us. Amen. And then strengthen and open our portal connection through which we can receive our strength, support, guidance, and especially the portal in our heart, this source. And as a long-term project, start liberating, you know, our soul fragments that are still on the dark side. Of course, this is from a point of view where we're stuck in time. You know, from the highest perspective, it's all simultaneously it has already happened, but here we're putting in the order. You know, please liberate this aspect. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, clear all the contracts with the dark side. You know, 
that still keep us stuck with this lower energies. Amen, amen, amen. And then please bring our energies that have been scattered or taken back to us and integrate them, you know, fully into our bodies all the way down to the DNA. Um, um, um. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you know, reconnect, you know, these aspects with our soul, you know, and clear all the blocks and regulators from the dark side that are resisting, you know, this reconnection. Mm -hmm. So, and now we ask for the waters of love and life to start pouring over us, you know, from the heavens to smile. Amen. And one, two. Incoming now. Mm -hmm. And just inhale it, appreciate it, mm -hmm. and, and allow it to come into every cell of your body. To all the little vibratory complexes. Make sure you smile like an idiot, you know, and breathe in a way that it would make anybody in the elevator with you uncomfortable. And we ask that the latest and best light codes be reintegrated into us mm -hmm. to make this permanent. Amen. Mm -hmm. And also make our energy, you know, manipulated in a way that, you know, the dark side, when they try to steal our energy, they become allergic to it. Allergic reaction, like eating shellfish when you're allergic. Mm -hmm. So that will prevent them from doing so. Um, um, um. So, nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, so again, we thank all the beings that came and helped. And please, you know, keep protecting us. Help us to integrate whatever we did here. Amen, amen, amen. So, if you wanted to go to sleep, you know, you have a beautiful sleep now. Mm -hmm. This uh, spiritual dreams that are very uplifting and insight for you. Healing dreams for your body too. That give you guidance too. And if you, um, you know, want to have a normal day ahead where you're sitting, you are full of energy now. Mm -hmm. Full of love and bliss. And one, two, three, you're fully back in waking day consciousness again. Still feeling the vibe, you know, very good. So, um, you know, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up, share your experiences, you know, with people, it's important. You know, it's good for everybody, it's good karma. And if you notice, you know, you're having some things, um, you know, that you need some help with, the information is below. My prices are very reasonable. Um, the, uh, today, um, here was a video, and um, coming will be, you know, a list of all the videos that I have made. You know, just look at them. And see if something resonates with you. You know, if it resonates with you, you know, later on, you know, go and watch this whenever it's spa time for you. You know, or whenever this topic comes up. You know, you know it is there. You know, if you responded well to my meditation, you will respond well to all the other ones too. So it's a great resource. It's free. So I love you a long time. Namaste.